the wildlife in your garden speaks volumes about how much you respect your environment and uh, how well you garden using things like chemicals and stuff like that isn't always a very good idea because it doesn't tend to go down too well with the Australian wildlife but um, there's so much the Australian wildlife can bring to your garden and um, can help you out with. So today we're looking at uh, lizards and those kind of animals that can actually um, bring a lot to your garden in terms of pest control and that kind of thing. So let's take a look at a few ideas we can use to help attract um, those kind of animals into our garden space. <laughs> simple one is some uh, a bit of old PVC pipe and this will become a scurry hole for, uh, for different lizards and they can hide from birds and predators like cats and stuff like that um, and take shelter if they need to uh, which is a really good idea absolutely you know, um, re you know reduce the amount of stuff that we use and respond different ways of recycling or upcycling that kind of thing it's uh, it's fantastic so um, PVC pipe is a good idea guys. Uh, another idea is um, obviously restricting the amount of chemicals you use in your garden because unfortunately that'll have a negative impact on, on the lizards and so on, so on. Lizards are fantastic for getting rid of things like uh, slaters and um, cockroaches and those kind of animals that we really don't necessarily want around our plants. Um, be careful about obviously attracting snakes as well but uh, I've tended to find that um, generally speaking if uh, uh, if you keep the, the lawns pretty short and you um, uh, are a bit aware of what's going around in your sur surroundings, uh, snakes aren't too much of a problem. Touch wood. All right. So some other things we can do is we can place some um, place some uh, bits of corrugated iron or those kind of things around, and that'll make uh, for some quite good little shelters for these um, those kind of lizards. And especially in the winter, it'll help attract them in, and they'll be able to make their own homes there. Uh, Another really, really good idea is a water feature. So water features, um, even things like ponds and that kind of stuff, be, be smart about it, but um, they can be really good for attracting uh, animals into your garden and all sort of good things that they're going to bring. Now, here's another one. This is a bit of old broken pottery that uh, a previous tenant has put down, and that's going to um, obviously attract lizards and stuff like that in. A uh, great little place for them to, uh, to make a, a home, I suppose. And um, especially around my uh, my vegetable garden, they can um, go nuts on the pests as far as I'm concerned. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And I'll be catching you in my next video.